Greetings to panelists of this uh, discussion session and Horasis. I uh, would like to first of all thank the invitation that is given to me. As a local government leader, of course, I'm not in the position to speak on behalf of what is supposedly a sovereign issue that is currently being handled by the central government, which currently holds the presidency of the G20 and hosting the upcoming G20 summit. Nevertheless, from a local government and from a common uh, people perspective, viewing what is happening in Russia and Ukraine, uh, definitely uh, we are sensing economic uh, impact uh, coming out of this, this conflict, uh, stemming from the fact that it affects the commodities, strategic commodities, as well as the anticipation or forecast of possible changes and disruption in the global supply chain. East Java currently contributes the second largest uh, economy or the, the second largest GDP, uh, regional GDP to Indonesia. We have uh, one sixth or 15 percent of the number of people in Indonesia. And therefore, uh, the economic impact, especially given the fact that uh, the major contributor to our economy is in food and beverage uh, manufacturing. So uh, definitely commodity prices affect uh, the current effort to recover from the pandemic, uh, the economic, pandemic induced economic uh, slowdown. Uh, we have recorded a growth of 5.2% in the first quarter of 2022. And although this number seems to be uh, very encouraging, but we also recorded approximately 4% inflation triggered by rising commodity prices and these are also triggered by globally induced uh, or imported inflation and as such it becomes a challenge uh, for uh, probably all economies not uh, not excluding uh, east java province and indonesia on how we will tackle this uh, likely uh, high inflation and uh, what we are currently doing is optimizing local uh, sources in order to either substitute uh, the uh, required import of raw materials uh, as well as to also ensure that we don't have any unnecessary inefficiencies in the local logistics in order to ensure that we can maintain stability of prices and this is very important because we want to make sure that the manufacturing sector remains uh, upbeat. Uh, the challenge is nevertheless, uh, if, if the expectation is going to be that prices will remain high, uh, the capability of the market to afford products, especially non-primary products, will be affected. And this will be detrimental to the effort to boost manufacturing. So I hope this gives a bit of an insight as to uh, what would uh, uh, be uh, the so-called uh, effect of the Russia-Ukraine crisis and we all hope that this crisis will be resolved very soon and uh, once again thank you to Horasis uh, my apologies if I uh, have to do this through video recording because we assess the quality of the signal I'm in the southernmost part of East Java right now in the coastal area so uh, uh, as, a, as a backup plan, I have prepared this video to be uh, played in the session. Thank you very much. All the best.